Hi, I'm Tracy Gales, and I'm going to show you how to spackle nail holes in baseboards like a pro. So this is my arsenal of tools for spackling baseboards. First, duh, spackle, lightweight spackle. Next, two sizes of countersinks in case the nails are sticking out, a hammer to use with them, a little piece of sandpaper, this crowbar, and this five-in-one scraping tool. I always forget the name of it. Great tool. You can open up a can of beer. You can scrape things. I mean, Clean amazing your tool. Clean your roller with this little thing. Don't get me started. Um, and the next, rubber gloves. Non-negotiable for your manicure. The first thing I do is go around and look for nails that might not have gotten all the way um, sunk into the wood when um, someone who shall remain unnamed, even though it's Roger, had a malfunctioning nail gun. So sometimes the nails stick out pretty far and sometimes they're just sticking out a little bit. So you have to make a decision. If they're sticking out too far, you'll wanna take the crowbar and you'll wanna take them out. And the way you do that is you take this scraping tool and you put it behind so that you're not gonna leave an indentation in your wood. That is a long nail, but as you can see, now it didn't leave a dent in this beautiful wood. And then the second thing that you're gonna do is if a nail's just sticking out a tiny bit like this, or like this, you're gonna get a countersink that's about the size of that nail head, and you're gonna put it into the wood right on the top of the nail, and you're just gonna smack it a couple of times until that nail, you can feel with your finger that that nail has been countersunk. So to spackle the nail holes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feel with my finger and if it feels rough at all, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little quick sand with the sandpaper, keeping in mind that I wanna keep as small of an area affected by my preparation as possible. When it feels smooth like that, I just take my flexible spackler or my credit card, whatever I'm using, and I get a little bit of spackle on it like this and I push it into the nail hole and then scrape it off. Push it into that nail hole and scrape it off. And occasionally you'll see that it won't go all the way in. Just get some more and put it on there. It doesn't matter if you get too much because you're gonna just scrape it right off. You scrape it so that it looks smooth and there's not any um, residual spackle that's too obvious. So this is what they look like after they've been spackled. They're not pretty, but I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours when they're dry, and I'm gonna give them a little sand, and then um, after I sand them, um, I'm gonna wipe them off and paint them, which I'll show you in another video. So next hole, I felt it, feels a little bit rough. So I'm gonna give it a little sand, not smooth. Then I'm gonna get a tiny bit of spackle um, right there and I'm gonna push it in and then I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay, let's go to the next one real quick. Same thing, it's rough. Little sand. Get some spackle on my flexible spackling tool, push it in and then I'm gonna wipe it right off. Now these Baseboards are dry where I spackle them, and so I'm going back and I'm sanding. And if there's any holes that I forgot where I had to countersink, I just carry my spackle and my little um, flexible spackling tool with me. Um, got my paintbrush. So this is the secret weapon. Let me show you what I do. So I just can see where I've spackled, and then I take my finger on the sandpaper, just sand it. I'm not super concerned with getting it really tiny, and the reason is because when I come back and I paint it, I don't wanna just put a dot of paint, because if I put a dot of paint, it's gonna show, where I'll show you in the next video, when I paint it, I'm gonna kinda of just do a little brush over it. So it doesn't matter if it's a little bigger than it, 
you think it needs to be. So sand right there like that, then I brush it. And then all along, I'm gonna brush off the baseboards, which, by the way, the hottest tip in dusting baseboards is an old paintbrush. So when we come back, I'll show you how to paint over what you sanded and brushed.